one of the areas I'm very interested in is how Christianity relates to the Eastern mystical religions. And when it comes to science, there are people who appeal to quantum mechanics as a, a way of buttressing a, an Eastern mystical worldview. To kind of unpackage this idea, we've uh, asked Dr. Darren Williams, a physical chemist, to come and talk with us about the mysterious elements of quantum mechanics. Uh, Darren, does quantum mechanics, and it's kind of mysterious, hard to detect where a cause begins and an effect ends. Does something like that actually support an Eastern mystical worldview? Hmm. Well, what can you unpack the Eastern mystical worldview a little bit? That way I'm not assuming what you mean by those terms. Yeah, I think what often comes out in that kind of context is that you can kind of create your own reality. The, hmm. the observer affects the the uh, uh, experiment itself. And so the idea that is often put forth in kind of a popular context is that rather than there being a real reality or an objective reality, you can kind of create in a mysterious way your own reality. Okay, yeah, I think that the math of quantum theory does not support that. Okay. Um, but scientists and many others will, will do. They'll, they'll extrapolate sort of these, these concepts uh, in the laboratory and then add on philosophical claims to that. Let me give an example. This observer created reality. Yes. If I, if I have a phenomenon that's occurring in a spectrometer, uh, most of my work is with absorption spectroscopy. So you'll have a source and it's sending light through a material that's interacting with that light and then there's a detector. And you, you're tempted to just treat the, the molecule as the system, but the system is the whole spectrometer. The, the wave from the source, uh, if there's a monochromator or other kinds of uh, optical components in there, they're part of the equation. The sample that you're looking at is part of the equation and so is the detector. And so since all of these have uh, wave properties, they're all interacting. And so I think that's what they mean by okay. this observer impacting the event. It's not causing the event, though. I think that's where we need to be as scientists more careful with our philosophical terms because that, the idea of a cause is, is a philosophically laden term. Right. And, and I would encourage my colleagues to be more careful and, and myself as well to, to not just throw the word cause around but right. to actually look up and, and learn what is meant by the different types of causation. So the data that you might draw from an experiment, looking at the quantum realm, mm -hmm. that may be very different than the philosophical interpretation you attach to it. Yes, that's, that's kind of my point. That yeah. you know, whether you turn a polarizer a certain way and, and you're now detecting spins that have collapsed into this orientation or that orientation, that's very different than saying that all of reality is, is uh, individually right. created and that the whole world is Maya. You know, this is, this yeah, is a good. incredible extrapolation. It's really, I mean, not even in the same category. Right. So. Do you think scientists are aware that they bring a philosophical worldview to their own scientific yeah, investigations? That puts, that puts me in uncomfortable territory to speculate on what they're aware of, right. but I, We'll look back at my own background and all through four years, actually it took me five to get my bachelor's degree, uh, I never had one philosophy course. Then I went on for a PhD and got a doctorate in philosophy in chemistry with no philosophy training. So I think that if chemistry, if a chemist has similar background, yeah. they haven't had philosophy. They haven't had to think through the definitions of of efficient cause or formal cause, mm. uh, logical priority, and these different kinds of things that I'm now learning after the fact right. and going back and reading on my own to become a better thinker. And, and so I wouldn't presume that they know and they're, they're being malicious, um, but it may be the case, like it was in my case, that they just didn't have the philosophical right. training to be careful with their terms. Oh, thank you.